I've watched you on TV, you're a natural. Thank you. I take that as a great compliment. You know? Okay. Welcome to Pentagram Studios Presents A Conversation With. Our featured guest this afternoon is none other than a Canadian Member of Parliament, formerly uh, Ron Atke. Ron, welcome to the show. Good to be here. I'm Viva Vulgaris, by the way. Ron, uh, how about we pick a few topics to talk about? Uh, tell us about you, your life in politics, first of all. Well, uh, I had an interesting life in politics, but not long. Uh, I was there for... Uh, 18 months the first term and about nine months the second term. So I describe it as a bit like being an astronaut going to the moon. Oh, how appropriate! And and, and uh, it, it was very exciting, but it didn't last long. That's too bad. Like romance. <laughs> That's right, but it was exciting. And, and uh, you wrote a book, and then we have it over here for display. It's called The Chancellor's Foot, a novel by Ron Atkey. Uh, would you tell us about this book? Uh, how much of it is fiction, and how much of it is not fiction? Um, you speak truth through fiction. Uh, so none of it is true, and all of it is true. Uh, the stories are, are not concocted, but they're not about real people, they're made of fictitious people, but the circumstances and the situations are real. And uh, particularly writing the field of espionage and spies and this sort of thing, sometimes you can tell more truth through fiction. Very well said. I found it very exciting, personally. There's a lot of uh, sex and action and, and, and exciting things going on. Is that an indication of what life in Ottawa really is? Well, like? it was. Yeah, you had to spice it up a little bit. Sometimes uh, my uh, my then wife told me I didn't handle the sex scenes very well. It was a little crude and awkward. And I said, well, I'll try to do better next time, dear. But yeah, I added a, a few sex scenes in there just to kind of spice things up. There is a bit of hanky pan going on in Ottawa. You have people coming in from across the country spending all long hours working and there are a lot of single people and uh, relationships do develop. That's wonderful. Uh, Ron, tell us about some things that you're working on right now. I believe that you're involved with an audit regarding the uh, recent G20 expenditures. Uh, we're having a look at that. Um, the G20, it's not so much the expenditures, but we just had the largest mass arrest in Canadian history since the Olympic general strike. There's over a thousand people were rounded up and incarcerated for one or two days. I think now some two or three hundred have been charged and the rest were released and without charge. Um, it's double the size of the roundup in the Quebec FLQ and one uh, realizes, you know, there's some bad apples in there and they, they were burning cars and banging windows and this sort of thing. But there were maybe 40 or 50 really bad people and they used a, a um, shotgun or a rifle would do. And so there will be some inquiries into this through the Canadian Civil Liberties Association, through the Police Services Commission, through the Ombudsman, and through the Auditor General. And this was uh, at a cost of a billion two uh, to have all these world leaders come in. Granted, no one was killed, no world leader was attacked. It was successful in the sense it was terrorist free, uh, but it's left a, a lot of bad tastes in people's mouths because. Uh, we're Toronto. We're supposed to be the friendly city where things work and work well, and we don't like this idea of putting up huge barricades and building a temporary jail down on Eastern Avenue and putting a thousand people in for a couple of nights. Uh, that could happen on this movement this time. It could happen in another movement another time. Uh, Ron, uh, thinking about your attitudes and things that I know personally, uh, you come across as liberal, but in fact you were with the conservative part, is that correct? Well, uh, liberal, conservative, they're hard terms to define. I'm, I'm known really within the conservative party as a red Tory. And that means I have social conscience, uh, but I'm a fiscal conservative. I mean, responsible spending, uh, but being generous to people. Um, as compared to the conservative conservative party, which are very right wing and all, sometimes not so generous. Uh, the liberals I find uh, I don't particularly like because they believe in big government. Uh, everything is centralized and controlled, whereas uh, I believe in strength for the province and strength for the municipalities and the rights of the individual. Do you think that you might go back into politics at any point in the future? Not, not as an elected office, but uh, uh, certainly as, as coaching people. There are a number of young candidates uh, I'm working with right now. One in uh, Mississauga South called Effie Triantafilopoulos, who will oh. be very popular in the Greek community. and She's well known and she'll be elected. And then Dr. Kelly Beach who is a medical doctor running up in Gray Simcoe, uh, where Helena Georges will not be running again. And, uh, and uh, Kelly Leach is the, seeking the nomination there. And she has an MBA in medical 
degree, she's a, a surgeon and she's held postings in London, Ontario and Toronto. So you watch her. That's very impressive. And I always like to get young candidates who are on their way out. And you notice I'm attracted to women candidates. <laughs> Ronald, that's fantastic. Uh, so now, let me ask you this. Uh, how do you see the uh, future of Canadian politics, the shaping of it? Is it going towards a more uh, totalitarian, conservative uh, route? How do you see the future of Canada? Um, I, I don't know if there's going to be purely conservative, uh, totalitarian. I think the next election will tell and which will, uh, what Canadians have stomach for. I think what is happening is the polarization. Uh, the differences between the parties, and they don't like each other, they don't get along, they don't work together. I, I, I think Canadians don't like that. It's it become very much U.S. style. Republicans hate Democrats, Democrats hate Republicans. And, and I think there's no room for hate. I think, you know, there can be differences of opinion on various issues. They represent different regions of the, of the country. But um, I think there should, and certainly my experience in politics was more of a cooperative one than is currently ongoing. So, um, I, I hope it's uh, let's make peace, not war. I say, make love. Make love, not war. That's even better. A little bit of that wouldn't hurt. Ron, uh, now let's step aside from politics for a moment because some people might not be too interested in politics. How about the arts? I know you're a lover of the arts. Would you tell our viewing audience uh, what type of artistic endeavors and things do you? Enjoy? I like all good music. Such as uh, classical music. Um, I like uh, folk music, I like jazz, um, I like rhythm and blues, I don't like hip hop, uh, and I don't... Why is that? Uh, because I think it's poetry, uh, and, and, and it's, it's poetry that derives from the black community, which is interesting in itself as poetry, but I don't call it music. It's rhythmic poetry, and, and I just don't see... The, uh, I'm, I'm, I have perfect pitch, I hear a lot of sounds in music, and I don't hear a lot of music coming in. Right, so if I were to go to your place, I would not find iced tea in no, your collection. No, you wouldn't. That's too bad. Okay, uh, next topic. So, Ron, uh, what about uh, other things? Uh, anything that you'd like to say to the viewing uh, audience? Uh, anything at all? Any, any off topic that you want? Um, well, it's been a great and wonderful summer. You know, yes. we should cherish this. People complain about the heat. Give me the heat any day. I think it's wonderful. Your garden is growing, the vegetables are growing all over Toronto. I have flowers on my balcony in my condo downtown and I can look at it over in sailboats and uh, this is, who would want to go away to Muskoka when yeah, this here in our city, so aren't we lucky? We are. Uh, do you have any opinions about climate change and uh, the weather and so forth? I think um, Canadians will benefit from climate change in the sense that our summers will be hotter, our winters may, and I'm a skier so I like an herb border, we like good snow. Uh, I think if you're in the uh, north or in the far regions, Newfoundland, uh, or on the west coast in Vancouver Island, there will be more extremes uh, that will be more difficult. But look what's going on in Pakistan and, and Russia and uh, in different parts of Europe and forest fires in British Columbia. So being at the moderate middle, we're uh, better off, but I think in the regions uh, and other parts of the world there will be difficulties. Um, finally, last but not least, Ron, what are your views on just the future in general, life in general, your philosophy, any thoughts? Um, I'm having trouble uh, retiring. Everybody says I'm the age and you should be retired, you should relax, play more golf. I play a lot of golf. But I like to be active and I think people should never retire. I think uh, they should always have a vocation of some sort. They may not be paid as much, they may be paid better depending on what they're doing. I'm teaching, back teaching in the law school, uh, and the notion of retirement or Freedom 55 totally turns me off. I, I like uh, I like what you're doing here in this little oh, studio. It's kind of you. nice. And you. You'll be able to carry this on, and, and you're uh, taking advantage of technology and reaching the world, and I hope you have lots of viewers. Well, we hope to bring a variety of different types of guests and discuss many different topics. Well, you're already building an audience. Good for you. Thank you so much. Carry on. Thank you for, for <laughs> being on this show. It was a great Pleasure. honor. And if you would like to tune into the next episode of Pentagram Studios Presents, all you need to do is subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Night. Night, or it's daytime. We don't know. Your, your viewers are continuous. Anytime. It's continuous. Yeah. <laughs>